Ukrainian crisis caused by that war continues, but there is a little bit of good news this morning. A group of 52 children from an orphanage in Ukraine have arrived safely in the UK before heading to their temporary home in Scotland. The children aged between 1 and 18 and their carers were supposed to leave Poland on Monday. They were held up after paperwork was delayed. Vincent McAvaney has their story. As bombs fall across Ukraine, this evacuation bus is the result of weeks of work by a team of British charities. On board, 52 children from orphanages in Dnipro, unaware of the extent of the danger they're escaping, sing together. After safely crossing into Poland with their legal guardians, they've spent days waiting for their paperwork to be approved. Finally last night, the final leg of their escape, a specially chartered Virgin plane flew them to Britain. Seeing them climb up the stairs, it was excitement. The crew were waving Ukrainian and British flags at the top of the steps. They were giving out small Union Jack flags to them. The plane was full of toys and of other goodies and sweets and chocolates for them. And it was absolute excitement. I, I think we need to do this. If, if today teaches me personally anything, it's that we all need to step up and do our bit. I genuinely feel privileged to be a part of it and to know that as part of British society, we've contributed to this as well. For Sally Becker, who's helped treat and evacuate children from conflicts around the world, it was an emotional flight. Well, when we touched down, they all clapped. All of them. I mean, I've seen people clap on planes before, but this was different. They could see London below them as we came down and they were all telling one another and looking at me and excited and... Yeah, it was lovely. The children, who range from infants to older teens, will now acclimatise to their new life in Scotland in these peaceful surroundings near Stirling. They'll then be housed in family-style groups in Edinburgh until one day it's hoped they can return home to a peaceful Ukraine. Vincent McAvinney, BBC News.